Okay, so today we're going to be adding some FPV gear to our 250 class quad. We're going to be using the TS351 video transmitter, adding to that a circular polarised antenna, which will improve on the stock linear antenna vastly, and the CC1333 board camera. These parts work really well together and they make the wiring a breeze. We'll also be adding the long frame upgrade kit to the quad. This gives us a lot more mounting options and as you can see I've already installed the board camera at the front in a plastic case. I'll provide a link which explains in more detail how to do this. The upgrade kit sits on the top of the frame and is held in by four screws. Alternatively, it can also be mounted underneath if you prefer. The video transmitter is going to be mounted at the back of the quad here. I've gone ahead and screwed the upgrade kit down to the frame. Once you do this you'll notice that 6 inch props no longer fit. That's fine though, we'll just swap them out for 5 inch props which fit just fine. The TS351 transmitter and CC133B board camera both run on 12 volts and you only need one cable between them. So plug one end into the back of the camera and route the wire from, away from any potential sources of electrical noise and plug it into the video transmitter. The JST pigtail from the power distribution board provides the 12 volt feed to the transmitter. You can secure the video transmitter in any way you like, I'm just using a few cable ties. Attach the circular polarised antenna and position it vertically for the best signal strength. Whatever you do, don't ever power up the transmitter without an antenna or you could permanently damage it. You can see here that I've looped up the camera cable and secured it to the top of the frame away from the props and any other wiring. And that's pretty much it. Feel free to go ahead and put your propellers and battery back on. If you want to capture some footage of your flights with an, a Mobius action cam, just strap the camera's mounting sleeve onto the front of the frame above your board camera and you're good to go. As always, thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.